The Egyptian military announced it's behind President Hosni Mubarak's decision to remain in office for now. Anti-government protesters are marching on the presidential palace this morning, but multiple reports say that Hosni Mubarak is not there, that he's left Cairo. CBS News correspondent Terry McCarthy is in Cairo with more this morning. Terry, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. And as you can see, the crowd is still continuing to grow here. Noon prayers are over. Uh, there's lots of people in the streets here uh, in Tahrir Square. They're also massing around the TV station. And in front of the presidential palace, we've heard there have been some clashes between Mubarak supporters and these protesters. Now, meanwhile, we have heard from Whale Ghanim, that Google executive who was arrested for 12 days for his role in organizing these protests with the uh, Facebook uh, campaign. Uh, he today told an Arabic TV station that Mubarak has betrayed our dreams and he should be removed immediately. He also said that the protesters will not give in and they're ready to die for their cause. Now, as you say, there have been reports that Mubarak might have left Cairo, he might be in Sharm el-Sheikh. Uh, these reports are so far unconfirmed, but clearly the pressure with all these people on the streets, the pressure is increasing on Mubarak to get out of the way of these protesters who, who really are not going to stop until he's gone. Jeff. Terry McCarthy with the latest from Cairo this morning. Terry, thanks.